How many people actually can go back and understand where you have come from based on five generations back? I couldn't do that. And so today, you're gonna learn a little bit about how to become the family historian so that you can know your sense of place in this world. So who am I? I am a daughter of a mother who was schizophrenic and was on drugs. Really didn't understand her sense of place in this world. And so coming into this world, as a young girl, I was confused, misunderstood, incomplete, and I didn't understand my sense of place. I didn't know my father growing up. And so as a young girl, your self-worth comes from your father. Your first relationship of a man should be your father. And so when I think of a sense of place, I think of my journey. And in my journey raised with my grandmother, in low-income housing, with drugs, violence, and all of these things that told me that I could not become the person that I am today, I had to find out through my journey of my sense of place. So how do you understand your sense of place in a world where you don't know where you come from? You don't know how to explain that to those that are coming after you. Who is your father? How many people can say they know the name or attributes that display of themselves from their great, great, great grandmother and grandfather? And so I was able to find those things out through the discovery of ancestry, through the discovery of DNA, paternal lineage, my sense of place at one point was unclear, but I was able to find many things throughout. My mother was who she was and she gave me what she could based on what she had, but she didn't understand her sense of place. And so from the birth of me, and then I was able to become a mother. And my sense of place started to become a lot more clear. One evening, my daughter asked, do you know who your father is? Do you have a picture? And I said, no, but I will get you a picture. And so it, at that day, I thought about it and I said, it is up to me to clearly define my sense of place, not only for me, but for my daughter. And as she continue to grow, there are gonna be generations to come. And so I believe that I'm the person to change the trajectory of my bloodline through becoming the family historian. Many of us do not have a family historian. Many of us are unclear of where we come from. We may know the title of job we have, the last name we have, the place that we were born, but what about the generations that have come before you? The deep roots of your ancestry. My identity crisis unfolded about a year and a half ago. That identity crisis unfolded because I was able to find my sense of place through the DNA and the family lineage. My family research. Going through different days where I'm sending in my saliva to search for the person that was my father, to find out if I can understand who am I in this world that because I'm so un incomplete, because I don't know where I come from, I know who I am and why I do what I do, but really? And so it was a journey that was full with emotion, nervous, embarrassment, all of these different things, but I knew that the goal was to get that picture. The goal was to identify who I was within. And so I continued on my journey. And so my sense of place, I knew I was a high school athlete. I knew I loved basketball. First person in my family to go to college. I knew those different things about myself, but I just didn't know where that fire was coming from. And so I'm here to also say, as my identity Christ unfolded, I found out who my father was in that journey. Not only did I find out who my father was in that journey, I'm able to have a relationship with my grandmother. 
and she's able to tell me stories about my great, great, great grandmother, something that I didn't know as a young child. But now my daughter has that picture. My daughter understands her sense of place. She will as she continues to grow based on her mother and her father, my mother and my father. Unfortunately, seven months after I found out who he was, he passed away. And so I wasn't able to develop that, but I know why I like basketball. <laughs> I know why I like to shoot pool. I know why I do what I do and the passion that's inside of me is because I am who he is. And I am who he is, and this is very much more a sense of place of where I am here today because today is his birthday. And so all things work to find out what is that journey. I have a clear direction. I have a nonprofit. I work with young ladies because my sense of place as a young girl, I didn't understand who I was. I didn't have women around me. So I became that for those that are coming after me. My organization is 13 years now. 13 years old, working with young girls who are unclear, unsure, misunderstood, that little girl that I once was, helping them understand their sense of place. The reason inside of what I do is because I know, although I didn't meet my ancestors that have come before me, although many of us may not know who our great, 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 great grandparents are, there's something that's inside of each and every one of us that should charge us to become that family historian. I said, if not me, then who? And if it didn't happen before me, then it's my turn to make it happen. And so again, my name is Alenia Moore, and this is A Sense of Place as it relates to becoming a family historian. Thank you. Thank you.